Mr. Chair. Na-insulto po ako dahil nakikinig po ako eh. I spent time to stay here and I listened to all the testimonies. While the governor, who is the subject of this inquiry, was not listening. I feel insulted as a member of this Congress, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Mr. Uh, Chairman, or Joint Chairman, I move that we dispense with the presence of the good Governor Mamba, considering that he refuses to participate by not answering the pertinent questions. I so move. I second the motion. It's a motion to dispense for the appearance of uh, Governor Mamba in this hearing. Duly seconded. Any objections? The chair is none. The motion is carried. Permission to leave, Your Honor. I respectfully seek this Honorable Joint Committee to consider the rule on sub judice, which restricts comments and disclosures pertaining to judicial proceedings in order to avoid prejudging the issue, influencing the court, or obstructing the administration of justice. After all, the Supreme Court cautions that close and open parentheses. And open quotation, there is no congressional power to expose for the sake of exposure. I submit that it is a settled doctrine that the jurisdiction of the Congress or, or any of its committees to conduct investigations in aid of legislation is not covered by the substitution rule. That is well settled. And uh, I think uh, this should be uh, recognized by all parties concerned. Well, I joined the manifestation made by Congressman H. L. Man. And besides, we have the rules on our rules of procedure governing inquiries in aid of legislation. And there is no provision providing that in the event that there is a pending case that will prevent this committee or Congress from exercising its con constitutional duty to have an investigation in aid of legislation. Uh, my question is directed to uh, Mr. Mamba. Magkano ang natira doon sa 600 million na ipinakalat na tigi isang libo? Nung nakaraang uh, election. Your Honours, this is the subject of the cases filed against me. And uh, this will be subject to sub if I, I, I answer your question. Uh, uh, just remind uh, the resource person, uh, please uh, wait to be recognized by the chairman before speaking. I am. I'm sorry, uh, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Congressman Lara. Uh, ulitin ko lang, Mr. Chair, kay uh, Mr. Mamba, magkano ang natira dun sa pinamigay na 600 million na pinakalat tig isang libo sa bawat votante nung nakareek nakaraang eleksyon na ipinagbabawal? Mr. Chair. Go. Mr. Chair, uh, this is subject of the cases filed against me now pending in the COMELEC and in the Supreme Court. And I could not come up with any uh, answer to the query. Uh, with the intelligence of uh, Kong Lara, if you allow me, I will just rephrase your question. Uh, and uh, I hope Gov will, uh, Gov Mamba will answer the query. It's same, ano? It's same. Yes, uh, uh, Mr. Chair. Uh, itagdag ko na lang. Kung nagkasa pa o nagkulang pa yung 600. Uh, due respect, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Thank you, Kong Lara. Gov. 
this is a matter of facts, no? And uh, you cannot uh, invoke pangunahan na kita. Uh, you're right. Against self-incrimination. Because you're saying that it is pending a case in the Comedican Supreme Court. Pero ang tanong ko lang, Gov, eto for the record, totoo ba na may 600 million na budget of fund that was uh, released during the time? Your Honor, I am really sorry. No, this is subject of a court cases filed against me and uh, a lot of people in the province of Cagayan. Uh, even plunder cases in the ombudsman, even uh, in the civil service. And we could not answer this because it is subject to subjudice. Nice. May I direct? Some questions to the governor. Please proceed. Uh, governor, did you hear and understand the testimonies of the provincial treasurer, the provincial agriculturist, and the representatives of COA and COMELEC? Honorable member, please respond. Your honors, no, the resolutions no, filed by the honorable uh, author of those resolutions no, filed cases against me, including his uh, chief of staff. And this is now under litigation in the courts. And that is why any answer I would propound on your questions no, no, will be subject to subjudice. That is why. I'm really, really sorry. I want to be with you on a circumstance which is different from this. I have been a member of this uh, August body for 12 years. Most of you, uh, especially the old ones, know me. And I would like, I would like to, to cooperate with this. But the thing is, it is subjudice. And uh, I believe that... Uh, I believe that uh, no, the case is pending now in uh, in the Comelec, in the Ombudsman, and even in the Supreme Court no, uh, will be affected by whatever no, whatever I say in this uh, in this body. Thank you, uh, Honorable Mr. Please. Chairman. My question was very simple: whether the good governor a former colleague, heard and understood the testimonies of the provincial treasurer, the provincial uh, agriculturist, and the representative of COA and the COMELEC. If he refuses to answer because it is subjudice, let me read in full the rules of the House. Section 1. Rules of Procedure Governing Inquiries in Aid of Legislation of the House of Representatives. Power to Conduct Inquiries. Pursuant to Section 21 of Article 6 of the Constitution, the House of Representatives or any of its committees may conduct inquiries in aid of legislation in accordance with these rules. The filing or Dependency of a case before any court, tribunal, or quasi judicial or advocacy body shall not stop or abate any inquiry conducted to carry out a legislative purpose. Unquote. To my mind, that is very clear, and this was existing even during the time when the Honorable Governor was a member of the House. And uh, I would uh, say that the, any refusal of the governor to answer the question on the ground that it is subjudice is really not in order. It, does not, it is not anchored in the rules of the House. And it could lead to a presumption that if he answers, it would incriminate him. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, uh, Congressman Lagman. I, I... Join the position of the Congressman with me also is the rules of the House with regards to 
and greenable legislation. But anyway, go up again. Ang tanong kasi is answerable by yes or no lang. And I think it's not, uh, it will not incriminate you with the rest of the case outside of this Congress. Yes or no lang. Mr. Chairman, I never question your powers. I do not question it. But I also have rights to protect. And that is why no, I do not want uh, these questions to be answered by me because it might put me into a jeopardy. And I will never question, but put me in a proper circumstance and I will always be here cooperating with all of you. Mr. Chair, may I make yes, a manifestation? Uh, yes, uh, Congressman, yes. Chairman Akop. I've been here from the very start and I've listened to all the testimonies. The question asked of the governor is very simple. It's answerable by yes or no. In other words, when he refuses to answer, he did not listen to all the testimonies this morning. Mr. Chair, I spent time to stay here and I listened to all the testimonies. While the governor, who is the subject of this inquiry, was not listening. I feel insulted as a member of this Congress, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Mr. Mr. Chair. The station all back, uh, Chairman Akop is duly noted. Mr. Chairman, uh, if the good governor refuses to cooperate in this investigation, most probably the uh, joint chair can excuse him already because he does not want to cooperate. Mr. Chair. Uh, Mr. Chair, before... Uh, Mr. Chair, before you, you decide on the motion, can I interject, Mr. Chair? Uh, uh, before the before the uh, the motion of Congressman Lagman, uh, please uh, proceed, but uh, make it short. Please. Yes, uh, thank, thank you very you. much, Mr. Chair. Uh, actually, uh, my dear colleagues, uh, members present here, uh, I would just like you to, to I would just like to show you a video of uh, Mr. Mamba during the time when I filed this resolution. Uh, Mr. Chair, his re reaction, and of course, uh, the people of Cagayan is uh, on monitor now. They are monitoring what's happening here in the hearing. Kasi during that time po, sa bombo, ang dalas magsalita si, si Mr. Mamba, nasasagutin niya lahat ito. Kaya ito po, papalabas ko lang po. At uh, saka, no, may tutuloy yung Sana, no, sana ako ilbisya at ako mismo mag-a-attend sa Congress. Dahil sa totoo lang, sila na ang number one vote buyers ng yeah. mga congressman. Sa dami ng kanilang SOP, SOP, SOP. Yes, yes. No, ito nang charge nila yung mga mayor. No, na bumili na rin sa tulad nila. I'm sorry, I would never stop any of this. Did that go by no Bagawadi judge? Uh oh. I will not stop. Bahit Adam Kawinil Sakin. And let them put me in jail. Now, Paka Alam Samata. They alam me to Maka Western in the Mabayara de Mayani. Mr. Chair, uh, Yilampo, para at least, uh, Maliwanaga and members Natin.
no uh, during those times po uh, sabi ni, ni Mr. Mamba uh, harapin niya ng buong tapang po pagsasagot dito sa mga questions natin so ito po yung proper forum sa tingin ko na hindi po sa Pombo Radio salamat po Mr. Chair Mr. Chair uh, can I have span? Oh, I just give you go I will just give you three minutes after that we will we will decide on the motion. Thank you, Mr. Chair. By Congressman. It will not take three minutes. Give me the proper circumstance. You filed cases against me and then bring me here. To cut you. Uh, uh, no. so if the no. if the proponent no. of the resolution to cut you, please address your answer or manifestation to yes, the chair. Alam yes, mo ba? I'm sorry, your your. Audience. Please proceed. As I was saying, Mr. Uh, Chair, they filed cases against me. If there are no cases against me and there is, there is this investigation, I will be here. But the cases now are in the Supreme Court, are in the Comelec, and in the Ombudsman. How can I, how can I answer these questions? And that is why you give me the proper circumstance I will be here with you. And that is why I was telling people, no, kaso po, eh, dami na nating kaso, lahat ito, pati mga plunder cases. They are now facing plunder cases, not only uh, criminal cases, and even, no, there, there have been forum shopping everywhere. Now, how can we, we put ourselves in a situation that we, we have a good fight too? How can there be justice? No? Nandun na eh. Nandun na sa korte po ito eh. Eh, papano naman po kami dito? If we will so, be pre-judged uh, here, where is justice? So please uh, wrap up. Again, thank you so much. I've been a so, member sure, of this. Thank you, thank you. Just to clarify, Governor, you will not be giving any statement nor any answer to any question propounded on you. Whether that question is answerable by yes or no. Uh, Mr. Chair, I want to participate, but no, give that, me the proper circumstances. Chair, you want to participate, but you don't want to answer. What will be your participation? Okay, Your Honor, if it relates to the cases, no, I will not answer. Okay, so... Uh, short manifestation, Mr. Chair. With the judge for doing the video, it was it yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. okay three minutes, no, three minutes. it was it was, uh, it was mentioned or it was uh, videoed after filing all these cases against uh, mamba so nauna po yung pag-file namin ng cases sa kanya nung nagsalita po siya na willing siyang pumunta dito so that's all mr uh, mr chair just a short manifest your honor madam gamba you know the rules in the house you said that speak unless you're recognized I will proceed now to the motion being made by uh, Congressman Lagman. Please reiterate the motion. Uh, Mr. Uh, Chairman, or Joint Chairman, I move that we dispense with the presence of the good Governor Mamba, considering that he refuses to participate by not answering the pertinent questions. I so move. I second the motion. It's a motion to dispense for the appearance of uh, Governor Mamba in this hearing. Duly seconded. Any objections? The chair is none. The motion is carried. Permission to leave, Your Honor. Yes, uh, Representative Blagman. Let me just put on record that the resolution of the COMELEC promulgated on 6 March 2023 in the case of Maria Sara Ross de Guzman Lara versus Manuel Mamba in SPA case number 22-089 DC was dismissed not on the merits but it was dismissed because there was a late filing of the petition for disqualification, a one-day late filing only. Thank you.
Uh, the manifestation of uh, Rep. Lagman is duly noted.